And I'm curious about how you even think about the way the industry is now than when it was when you started Rough Riders. Like, what do you think? What do you think the differences are, and what do you think we can do now to kind of recreate what you've done? So the difference, you know, the only difference is that the only difference is that before everything was hands on. When right. I imagine you had to do everything hands on, whatever it is that you say you was, you had to physically go and promote that album. You had to, you know, you had to have street teams on ground every city. You had to go to every city. You had to, if you was a hardcore rapper, then you had to come to the hardest city and and actually be the hardcore rapper and, and talk that craziness in a hood. So we mm -hmm. went to every hood and did that. And then, um, you know, you it was just, we was just more hands on. This right. generation, they have, they have a blessing so it's a gift and a curse. They have the blessing to be able to have social media that we develop for them to have the opportunity and platform for them to go off and soar. So because every generation put something to the to the uh, culture to pass forward. We did our part. They got social media and the process of our, our ground zero work, right? And then they ran with it. So basically they got social media, but they don't, you know, they, they got mass reach out to the masses. But the, the disconnect of the communication is all. See, we did a lot of hands-on communication. People yeah. got to see you. They got to know that you was real. They, you, you was, you, you didn't, you, you know, you, you wasn't, you know, like, you did a, We didn't do a, a full-fledged campaign, social media campaign, digital. Right. You had to, you had to do your campaign and go and and, and, and and kiss the babies and hug them, and you had to get out there and talk to the thugs and get. Get, get get bloody whatever it is so we had to go hands on like that and so they don't really have to do that because that's dope that they do have the social media to be able to manipulate the situation but sometimes it's over it's over saturated with manipulation and fakeness you know what i'm saying and yep. so people so the kids sometimes think it's real so because the kids that don't have the experience of understanding what's in those streets and what's really happening and how it's being sold is actually going online when we not around and going like this saying oh shit this is the, the hottest shit this. so they made the social media the streets so now they looking at this like oh yeah this is it this and this and they telling you what what the streets is like and i'm saying well that's social media street that ain't street so some of that is real but some of that is just extra unnecessary bs